Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel! So we're back in our farm for the weekend. We'll be hosting a few friends here overnight and we decided why not take you guys along with us. Let's take them on a tour? Yes, let's do it! I'd be more than happy to. Yeah. This door leads to the bedrooms and then sometimes we like to lounge here at night by the butacas. There's such a nice breeze here since we're in the province and it's really nice to just chill here. So this is the first guest bedroom. Technically, it's supposed to be my Lolo and Lola's bedroom, but they don't really come here. Only my Lola sometimes. Who likes to play sunka? I don't really know how to play. And here is where we eat as a family. So now this is the great room. Another place to chill, if I say so myself. You get a lot of breeze in here. And once again, a lot of chairs to sit back and relax. So a lot of people say that this painting looks like my mom, does it? I don't know. So that door over there leads to more guest bedrooms. Nice to take a dip here on a hot sunny day. What I hate about it is it's under the mango tree, so a lot of, a lot of things fall in the pool, but it's okay. Still, still a good way to cool off on a hot day. Got a jacuzzi, sitting areas. Hannah, perfect place to have a beer here, no? <laughs> so fun fact guys, this is actually one of the spots where we took our prenup shoot for our wedding. So right behind me are these bougainvillea flowers. This is one of the spots where we took them. And I still remember that it, like it was yesterday. It was so hot and we started so early, but you know, we wanted to do it with Champre because we wanted to have nice photos during the wedding. This house uses a lot of open spaces because there's really a nice breeze here and it's nice to just sit around, lounge around, maybe even snooze off. Did you guys know that this is a chair? Pretty cool. I remember growing up sitting on this chair and my dad would always get mad at me because he thinks it would break. Pretty cool chair because it's also created by a Filipino sculptor named Abueva. And this door leads to the bodega. So this is where my dad puts furniture, our old toys. But what he doesn't know is, in the future, that's gonna become a wine cellar. <laughs> right here, we have bicycles. We use it to exercise, go around the farm. And right he over here, we have guest toilets and shower, so that when you're done swimming, you can use these. My dad loves Maxwell so much. He's a playground. Oh. You know, when I was a kid, we didn't have I mean, we had a lot of fun, but it's not a cool playground, right? <laughs> Maxi, Come, guys. Show you around. So a little fun fact again, these toys that you see, these were all our old toys from when we were kids. And the fact that my dad was able to preserve them is pretty incredible. There are coconut trees here. This is where we get our coconuts and then we, we like to drink fresh mocha juice. There are plants around the tree. That's the safety. Yeah. So you don't want to go in there because you will be ka ng buho. Yeah. And that could be painful, very painful. This is the pathway. Okay. Someone's watering the plants. Those small trees you see, those are all calamansi. So we grow calamansi here. Usually there would also be pineapples here. I am super addicted to the pineapples grown here because they're always so sweet. Actually, we're very proud of our pineapples. They're very small, but they're super sweet and super juicy. We'll show you guys how the calamansi looks like. See, that, that's one. Yeah, so those are all calamansi. And here, this is where we keep the male horses here, one here and one there. We have to separate the male horses from the female because Bahama out of control. <laughs> and on this side... Oh, the pineapples oh. are here. See, look at it. It's so cute, it's so small. But they're so sweet. 
As you can see, there are cows here. One, two, I don't know how many cows. Maybe like 50, no? Yeah. But so there a, are a lot. There's a pit because, down there. Yeah, you can see. There are more cows down there. That's Mount Malarayat, right? Yes. Matt. So we have a nice view of that. This is what they feed the horses. Of course, they have feeds also, but they also like the damo. Which they also just cut from somewhere here around the farm. And they just gather it and then they feed it to the horses. So this is where the horses stay when it's raining. Or when they're pregnant, they just give birth. There's, oh, that's the foal! Summer. Yeah, that's summer. Maxi, who's that? Summer. Did you say hi? Who's that, Boo Boo? Did you say hi to Summer? Okay, where's Stacy? Which one is Stacy? It's a po. It's a po. Grabe Hana, kung ganyan lang pinapakain, nag nagda-diet yung horse, no? Ayaw Hana. Baka dapat from there. Oh, okay. So that's not his thing. This is where the cows are. They're cats, chickens. Yeah, we have quite a few chickens here too. We'll take you guys here in a month. And then here we have a little gazebo, like a picnic gazebo. That's my favorite spot. That's also a good place to have a beer. Charming and chill. A walkway. So here you have a nice view of the mountain, of the horses. And especially in the afternoon, it's really nice to just sit here because it's breezy and the weather's nice here in general. Let me take you guys to my secret spot. I have a favorite sitting area here as well that is kind of underrated, but if you see it, it's a great place to read a book, lounge around to relax, have a drink, and just, you know, think about life. Can I take you to my secret spot? Yes. This is my favorite spot. See, there's no pathway, so you kind of have to find your way. But when you get here, there's a really big old mango tree and there, there's a sitting area here. This is super duper chill. Look at this. Even if it's a hot day, you're under the tree, so you're covered and then now it's a little bit windy, no? So you're sit next to me, Hannah. And then you have a nice view of the horses, the calamansi trees. Here, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. But if you're not an outdoorsy girl or person in general, you might get a bit freaked out. Baka may nalalaglag. <laughs> Pwede naman maglagay a, ng payong yeah, or it's something. It's a really big tree. The trees are spaced out very precisely. This is another place that Hannah and I did our prenup shoot. So we'll include the photos. It's so nicely done, this one. So this is the chapel. This is where Matt and I took our photos. But look at the walls. Yeah, this is a poison ivy, so you don't want to get too close to it. But it has a lovely effect on the brick wall of the church. It's a good time to walk. This is actually another place where we had our prenup shoot. Our photographer, Pat D, and our videographer, Bob Nicholas, they wanted like a parang jungle effect. So they made us uh, stand here by these orchids, make it look like we were in a jungle. So we'll be posting the photos for you guys to see. Yeah, we were here. <laughs> Okay guys, so before we go into the greenhouse, there's another picnic grove here, which I must admit we don't really go to, but it's covered by these big acacia trees, which unfortunately are like shedding right now. But usually it's full of leaves and it's also the perfect place to picnic because you're shaded naturally. But come here, look, check this out. We actually also have a family photo here during our prenup with Max. We're sitting in this uh, bench right here. Great place, nice to have a barbecue here, you know, have some drinks. So now we're in the greenhouse. I wish I could tell you all the orchids, but I'm not too familiar. We're gonna have to look for the jardinero for that. All I know is these are dapos. Yeah, really big dapos. These ones are like the mother, mother dapos. As you can tell, they're huge. Picnic area over here. This looks like a good place to have a salad, no? Or something. Guys, we set up magrose jan. So this is actually my dad's hobby. He loves plants and orchids in general, but he loves mga ganyan for the house. Well, I know one. The one back there that we're growing like crazy, 
It's called rapis, which we have a ton of at home. Apparently, it's a good way to like cover your walls para it's not so plain na man, diba? So we actually grow more fruits here. In your right, you'll see a bunch of rambutan trees. We also have star apples. And then once upon a time, we had lansones, but it only bore fruit once. And then after that, I don't know what happened. This is the rapis that I was talking about. See, we have a ton of them. My dad loves using them to cover up walls. During the pandemic, this is the only place I could play basketball, but it's not painted, unfortunately, but it's a good place to shoot some hoops, sweat a little bit, get a workout in. Actually, when we had our prenup, our photographers, videographers, they had all their equipment stashed there. And then when they wanted to take a break, they were all just there. It was actually a pretty useful house then. This is actually one of our favorite spots. We love it because it kind of looks like a Korean telenovela. As they say, I don't watch Korean telenovela, but... <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So today, we have a few friends coming over to celebrate the weekend with us. We're just waiting for them. Max is playing right now in his playground. And today, we're just gonna be spending time with our friends. So chill lang. Matt brought drinks. He's gonna make some cocktails for the afternoon. We have chips. It's gonna be a chill day and we wanna just kind of show you guys what we do here. Because whenever we go here, we, we actually really don't do anything. Naman. We just relax. Pre-pandemic, if we did this, we would have probably have gotten bored na. But ever since the pandemic, parang we learned to appreciate like slow days, chill days. Days we don't really have to do anything. So tonight, we're cooking dinner. So I've got some ribeye steaks and a sirloin steak. It's gonna be good. Hannah's gonna be making the st steak rice. And my and friend. The salad. And so, the salad. Yeah. Candied um, nuts, almonds, and. Ooh. Yeah, so I made this. We made it at home. And then we also have homemade balsamic vinaigrette. So. And my friend Chris is gonna make us some truffle pasta ba? or carbonara or something, some sort of yeah. pasta. And then we also have cherry tomatoes for my salad and we'll top it with some more grapes. If you guys didn't know, Hannah's actually a really good cook. Oh. Natuto siya because of Max. Yeah. Had to cook for Max. Had to cook for Max. So, medyo pang bata na taste bud, but he only likes my cooking. If it's sometimes when I'm not at home and somebody needs to cook his food, his pasta, so I ask Matt to do it. And he doesn't. Hey! Finish it. <laughs> to say that to everyone. So, yeah. in my defense, I think I can cook as well. Oh yeah, he, he definitely can cook. I, I just think um, Max prefers my cooking. <laughs> yeah, it was so his, hurtful. His yaya yeah, told me, "Hindi kasi yata masyado gusto ni Max yung gusto ni Sir Matt, <laughs> kasi hindi niya na ubus." Ay nako, sabi mo kay yaya, magingat ingat siya, charot. <laughs> yeah, we'll cook for dinner tonight and we'll take you guys with us. Also, if you guys want to see cooking videos of Hannah, leave a comment yeah. and then we might be able to make that happen, right? Maybe. <laughs> Cheetos, barbecue lays, some caramel popcorn, some Haribo candy. And there's, this is for the kids. This is Max's favorite, obviously, because it's dinosaurs. And it's gummy. I don't, I don't want him eating so much of it, so I haven't given him chips for the kids. Fruit rolls, healthier though. This one, parang cornets, but it's Japanese. And then pretz, they also love pretz. Jelly A's, grape and apple. And this is for the adults. So, scotch whiskey over here. Some Jack Daniels to make some cocktails. Of course, I brought that so that I can make my Manhattan. My friends like whiskey sours, so we also brought ingredients for those. And then if you want something straight up, there's a blue label here. And then this is for the girls because they like tequila. Well, Hannah likes margaritas. No, I don't like tequila, disclaimer. Uh, but I just like how Ma Matt makes margaritas, so I asked him. Stay hydrated, of course. We got some fresh buca juice, which we're very proud of here because we never add sugar but it's always so sweet. It's so sweet. Okay, so and it's even better when you put it in the fridge. We also have sparkling Pours. water. 10.46, um, we don't eat breakfast. So Matt and I are just killing time waiting for friends. Max finished breakfast na. He also took a bath. So now it's playtime for him. So let's check what he's doing. What I love about this place 
it's so sunny, right? Like, just nice sunlight. But at the same time, it's breezy. So I can get away with wearing cardigans. Nice weather. Kahit sa farm fashion si Hannah. Do not be fooled. On normal days when we don't have visitors, I'm in sweats, workout clothes. But you still look good in them, darling. Aww. Okay, so the kids are sleeping now. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and the adults are just chilling by the pool and we're gonna make some. Now Matt is gonna make us some cocktails. Some whiskey sour. Aromatic bitters, so Angostura bitters and orange bitters for extra flavoring. Hey guys, so right now, it's a team effort. Hannah is rendering the steak fat. Yeah, we're gonna make steak rice. And with our steak rice, we're gonna mix the layer parents and some nor and some garlic. It's gonna be good. Hannah made some balsamic vinaigrette that will go really well with the salad. Our steaks are right here. It'll be the last thing we cook since it's the fastest to cook. Our friend Chris is making his cacio pepper. Isn't that right, Chris? Yeah, man. All right. What are you doing now? I'm just getting the peppers in advance. All right, bro. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be exciting. So stay tuned, guys. Hannah just finished rendering the fat. Look at that. It smells incredible. I wish you guys were here to smell this. This is going to go in the steak rice, and it's going to be amazing. So what do you have over there in that pan? Some freshly ground black pepper, a bit of sage. Normally, I don't suggest butter with cacio pepe, but it, it goes so well, dude. Okay, good, so, good. Hey, what's work, this right? behind you? Uh, it's uh, parmigiano reggiano and some pecorino combined together. All right, bro. This and, is gonna be yeah, good. But this is the pecorino. Okay, good. So we got two cheeses, so you have more salt, more umami. It's really good. Yeah. It's gonna be good, guys. Good. It's gonna be good. All right, guys. So Hannah just started cooking the steak rice. As you can see, she's mixed the rice with some garlic. Put the rendered fat, rendered steak fat in there. Added some kikoman, some leia parents. How's it looking, Hannah? I hope it tastes good. <laughs> it's gonna taste good. It's made with love. Pasta in there, okay. Look at that. Carino. a bit more pasta water. Look at that. Perfect. All right guys, so that concludes our trip to the farm. Super enjoyed this weekend with friends and the kids and everyone. So if you like our video, please like and subscribe. See you.